Hey guys, what is going on? It's Intel365 bringing you another tutorial today. This one's a massive one, so let's see what we're going to do. Okay, so you've just watched that uh, introduction video. There's three effects in there. We've got freeze frame, uh, which was requested on Tutorial Market on my last uh, tutorial. Um, motion blur, um, which is a nice effect, badly used in that last uh, the last video you just saw, but that was a very quick example. And also, what was the first one? Um, oh yeah, uh, text coming out of objects. Um, so we're going to cover all of them today in this tutorial. Uh, the first one I'm going to get done is the freeze frame because uh, it was requested so I'd love to help the guy out who requested this. So the first thing you're going to do, my phone's going, uh, the first thing you're going to do is get uh, any clip you, any clip that you're using. This one's a jumping one which you saw in the beginning. I got all these from a free cinematics map, uh, cinematics pack off YouTube. You can get them free, really probably better ones than this, um, but or you can make your own. Uh, so it's totally up to you. Okay, so we've got one of our clips. We're going to find, um, we're going to find where he's about to jump, which is about there. That's where we want to start it. If you start it there, you can see him hanging round uh, about there. You can see him sort of hanging round and it just looks a bit untidy. If you start it just about where he's about to jump and then you press S on your keyboard, that splits splits the uh, clip uh, from where the uh, timeline um, bar is. And we're just going to delete that first bit because that's not needed. Okay, We're going to bring this up here. Now... This next bit is totally dependent on you. This is a very short clip and it's a very short jump, so I'm just going to put two. Um, and purpose of the length of the tutorial as well, I'm going to put two uh, freeze frames in. Okay, so we're going to so we're going to right click here, insert video track, and again, insert video track. So I'm doing two stops, you know, freeze frames. So I only need two tracks plus the track. Uh, this one where your actual video is. Okay, so we're going to use our left and right arrow keys um, to find exactly where we want um, the first picture to be, the first free fr freeze frame to be. Um, so I'm going to do mine right about there where he's in the sun. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over to uh, our video preview window. We're going to click preview. I can have it on best and it runs fine, um, but I, it's just habit of having it in preview auto now. So we're going to go best, full, and now we're going to save a snapshot of this. Save it anywhere, sorry I've got two monitors so I'll bring that in. That is for work. Um, so save it in the folder that you're currently doing on, there's the images from the last one. So save it in a in the folder that you want to use um, I'll just put tut there's our image so we're going to slide that uh, drag that even not slide drag that down to where you first want it to come in so if you see here it'll just stop the video is still going on but because that th this picture is higher is above that it will just play that image so it will just stop and that's it so now you do need pro version of Vegas to be able to mask. Um, so I'm really, really sorry if you haven't, but um, you do need pro version to be able to mask out. So we're going to cl uh, click the event prank. Oh my, I can't talk today. We're going to click the event pan crop button. Um, come over to mask. Now make sure this isn't uh, selected. Sync cursor is syncing this cursor with the timeline cursor here. So whatever you do on there, it's exactly the same on that one. Uh, but we're not going to do that. Okay, so we're just all we're going to do now 
is start masking out this little guy um, of where this this we're going to mask out the freeze frame basically. Um, so you're going to do yours a lot lot better than this. Uh, I will zoom in, but you will do. You know you'll make sure everything's perfect for this. You'll play around with the feathering and everything like that. Um, so I'm just going to speed this up now. Okay, so we've masked that out now. Um, that is shockingly um, untidy and really, really bad. But like I said, you can make sure uh, yours is a lot better. Okay. Um, okay, we don't want feather on there because that looks horrible. So get rid of that. Okay, so you'll see here now on this part now we've masked out so we basically just cut him out everything else is transparent so the video now will play through um the background so the image will stop and the video will carry on okay so like I said that it doesn't look bad from far away but it you could you know if it was in a montage people would be humming and ah and saying it, it looks pretty shocking uh, so make sure yours is really nice and neat um so that's the first one done. Now all we're going to do is find out where we want our second one. So mine I think was around here. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll do three. Um, no. Yeah, I'll do three. I'll do three. Um, just to really show you guys sort of the impact you can have. Two's not too bad, but three's pretty good. So again, we're on best full. We're going to save the image. I'm just going to save it as image 5. Drag it in again. And same again. So I'm going to speed this up again for you guys. Click on mask. Uh, this is the anchor creation tool. This is what you use to mask out um, each individual thing. So if we look now, that's what happens now. So that will be where it will freeze next time. So I'm just going to quickly speed this up for you guys. Okay, so we've masked him out now. So again, that's just cut him out and everything else is transparent behind him. If you, I'll show you on the next one. I'll slow it down, um, but I'll show you another thing you can do. Um, so the video will play like this now. Okay, so the last one, we're just going to find exa again where we want the last one to go. Uh, this is a bit of a hard clip because they're all sort of quite close, but uh, it'll do. So again... Keep it on best full. Save the image. Drag it down. And mask out again. This is what I wanted to show you. Uh, while you're masking out, I mean, you guys uh, trying to do... I mean, look at that. You know, it's like uh, sort of like 8-bit shit. Um, so if you guys are zoomed in like this and you're really making sure each, every little bit is done properly... You know, you're doing your bends and all that sort of shit. So let's say, again, I'm just doing it very quickly. Now, I need to move now um, to scroll up to go uh, to carry on. So if you click the normal edit tool, drag it up. Now, if you re-click the anchor tool, it starts a new one, and that, that won't work properly. So you need to, while you've, so you've scrolled up, while you've scrolled up, when that appears... Right at the end of the last selection you've done, click it again, and then back onto there, and that'll keep the same selection going. Okay, that's just another little handy sort of tip. People, some people might not know. Um, so I'm just going to speed this up, guys, now for you, uh, just so it won't uh, drag on. Okay, so we've successfully cut that out now as well. So now the video will show 
this. So there's your freeze frame. Um, obviously yours will have all your colour corrections on, it'll look a lot neater, it'll be a different clip more than likely, so it'll look you'll have more room to play around with. Um, the last thing some people do like is uh, for the for the actual freeze frames to be quite uh, you know sort of blanked out and like more of a shadow than a, than an actual block image um so if you go these are my three images now um so if we hide the video they're the three images so on each image uh, not the video because you want that to be to look like normal um so if you click the first image go to the top here where that it's like a little blue sort of uh interface sort of thing and if you highlight over it it'll say opa uh, opacity if you bring that down to as much as you want or you can keep it like that so i'll bring mine down to there same with this one maybe a bit more and then the last one maybe a bit more um you can play around with them i've gone sort of not much to middle to near enough all blanked out so Yeah, it's just a nice little effect to break up a montage. Okay, okay, guys, so we'll move on to the next effect. Okay, guys, so the next uh, effect we're going to be doing is the text behind an object. Um, fairly simple. Um, fairly simple effect to do. So let's get started with that. This is the clip I'm going to use. It's just a sniper unloading his uh, magazine and reloading it. So what we're going to do is we're going to find with our right and left arrows exactly where we want uh, the text to come in. I'm going to have it just right before he pulls out the mag. So we're going to split the clip and we're going to go make sure it's on best full. We're going to save the image again. And now we're going to add uh, three video tracks. So one, two three you'll see why I've added three uh, at nearer the end of this little effect um, we're gonna drag that away because that's gonna follow straight after so it'll stop like that not that long and then it'll just carry on with the clip um, so choose the duration that you want that to happen for it needs to be quite small um, you know if it's too long it'll look hard and it'll just be boring to watch so if you maybe a bit longer than that about that will do um obviously you guys can have a good play around with it okay so this is this image we're not going to do anything to at all we're just going to keep it like that uh this is going to be the base because it needs to sort of hide between the normal full image and the masked out part so all we're going to do is uh right click copy copy this image go to the top right click paste and now this is the one we're actually going to mask out and edit so if we go to our vent pan crop again again you'll have to have the pro version to mask out um, now I want it to come out of here I want the text to come out of here I think it's a good little place for it to come out obviously your clips will be different so these parts are not um they're not uh you don't have to do it neat the masking out because nothing's going on here. This is the important part. So as you come up to here now, this is where it's gotta be neat. This is where you need to be zooming in, making sure everything's absolutely perfect, like not that, because that looks god awful. Um so you need to make sure everything's perfect around this part. Now I know um my text isn't going to be coming out here or here it's going to be coming straight out here and um, so this is the knee part the rest doesn't really matter so now we've got our masked out part and we've got the full image so now we need to bring in the text to slide in between them both so we're going to go into our media generators and um, it's a bit all over the place on mine I've um, <coughs> I've got two monitors normally my video preview and also uh, project media and stuff like that's on my other monitors so I've had to quickly squeeze everything in um, 
Media generators includes all sorts of different uh, textures, solid colour, like you see in kinetic typography. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, everything, loads of different uh, media generators. <laughs> so, okay guys, sorry about that, the phone went, for crying out loud. Um, so now we're going to drag in, the one we want is titles and text. So, uh, again, ignore all these different effects, we're just going to use the default normal. Bring that in here. Okay match it up so it's the same duration as um, the still image media generator whatever text you want I'm gonna have mine as Intel 365 uh, and I'm gonna have impact I really like impact it's sort of a default on default font on your computer um, but it's really cool I like it okay so we're gonna hide that now behind this mask here so uh, for the beginning of the video uh, the beginning of this clip uh, the text is hiding behind him so now we're going to go to event pan crop uh, this time we're going to have to keyframe and animate so we want that synced up with our timeline so at the beginning we want it hiding now a couple of seconds in we want it to still be hiding but now we want it to come in to about there. I like giving mine quite a big gap to have to come back um, sort of like a wiggle effect so it looks like it's wiggling around um, and quite quickly it just gives it a bit more bouncy edge sort of thing. Uh, I'm moving, I mean I'm pushing my mouse up and down as you can see but it's only moving side to side that's because of this, uh, the move X only and um, this is why it should be yeah, move Y only and then free move. So mine side to side, so I'm going to only have it on that. So there you want it to come to there. And now you want it to be quite quick. Otherwise it'll look too slow and too lazy. So go a couple of keyframes ahead. And then you want to move it back. I'm going to move mine back to about there. And then I want to have it to come to the final place where it's going to rest and remain for the rest of the clip which is there. So if we watch that now. So now uh that wasn't too bad actually. Maybe a bit too quick. So if yours is too quick or too slow, just take in each individual keyframe and just move it along uh to wherever you want it to. So we're just moving everything along, spreading it all out a bit. This might be a bit better. Yeah, that's about exactly where I want it. I'm just going to add a bit of outline for the tutorial just in case you can't fully see it. Um, I've chose white text and it's on a light background so it's hard to see. So if I add a bit of outline, it'll outline the text for me. Okay, so if you watch that now. And then all you do is get the rest of your clip, bring it up, match it back up to there. So then when you watch it in full, reload in, and then he reloads. So that's that effect. I'm so in love with you.